My name is Dogshotty, and when I draw, I don't have an art style. What I do is mimic any unique style I see. So when I'm asked, how do you do that, I thought it would be a good idea to make a video series where I just show you. Welcome to Art Stylist, my new video series where I break down your favorite art styles from popular video games, cartoons, and anime. For our first episode, I'm going to be talking about Mario, which in my opinion has some of the best art styles. My challenge? Draw three separate characters with each one covering a unique Mario art style. So with all that said and done, let's start with our first character. This is a 2D Mario art style, which some of you may recognize from literally every piece of Mario merch in existence. Not only is this the most popular Mario style, it's also very nice to look at. Now, the character I'm drawing is a deep cut. She's the girl from the Super Mario Sunshine Space World trailer. No one knows who this character is, which means I have free reign. Let me break it down for you. The lines of 2D Mario are smooth and bold but everything hinges on the line weight. For those who don't know, line weight is line thickness. The heavier the weight, the thicker the line. Now take the character I drew for example. Not every line is the same weight. What I like to do is go relatively bold for the general outline of the character, but slightly increase the size when drawing the clothes and the hair, and go smaller when drawing details like the face or the fingers. You can also increase the size when you want to place emphasis on something. The best example of this in the official art is Mario's nose. It has a bolder line than the rest of his face, making it stand out more. When you draw, the size and shape of your lines depends on your hand pressure. This naturally creates something called a taper, where the line becomes smaller as it reaches its endpoint. While some of the lines in 2D Mario taper, like the fingers or parts of the hair, there are specific instances where they crop or cut off instead. You usually see this in areas like the arms, and in Mario's case, his nose. The color scheme of 2D Mario is standardized, which means Nintendo uses the same palette for everything drawn in that style. Because of this, I think it's best to take existing Mario art and I drop the colors you want to use. I personally do this for everything I draw, not just Mario, so this will be one of the few times I bring up color. For our character here, I've taken colors from Mario's face, overalls, and buttons. I'm also using colors I dropped from Agumba, Pauline, and this picture of Luigi. Don't forget to eye drop colors from the shadows too, because you're gonna use that. 2D Mario shading is distinct but simple to replicate. The shadows are usually gradients, but you can use an airbrush tool for more precision. For the most part, the darkest part of the shadow is never flush with the line work. There's usually a lines width gap between the two, acting as this style's version of reflective light. What I like to do is place a layer mask over the shadows and erase the lighting into existence. The only exception to this rule is hair, which is usually just a straight gradient, no erasing required. In a few instances, the 2D style also features a cast shadow or a drop shadow. This is most commonly used beneath a character's head, or in Mario's case, below his mustache. For the character I'm drawing, I also use it underneath her hat and below her dress. As for the highlights, the top corner of the character will be slightly lighter in color opposite from the shadows. The light reflection in the eye varies case by case, but in general, the shine is drawn inside the pupil for males and in between the pupil and iris for females. If I were to describe the art style of Super Mario Strikers, the word I would use is chaos. So it's no surprise that the art style representing this game is such a far cry from the happy-go-lucky art we've been previously mimicking. Speaking of mimicry, the character I'm drawing is the unused sidekick model from the game, more specifically the nondescript Mario lookalike. The lines for the striker style can be a bit overwhelming at first, but it's actually really simple if you think about it. The technique we'll be using is called chicken scratching, which is when you draw really short lines repeatedly following a path. This is actually what most new artists do when they're first starting out. In the case of Super Mario Strikers, we'll dial this up to 11. Make the short marks longer and let the lines overshoot and overlap, even disconnect. Sort of like grabbing a rock and trying to scratch your name onto concrete. The rougher it looks, the better. 
The shading itself can be broken down with a few techniques, with the most important being cross-hatching, where you repeatedly draw multiple lines parallel to each other, and again in the opposite direction. You'll first want to block out the general location of your shadows with a darker base and build from there. Then to enhance the contrast of the shadow, you'll start cross-hatching using darker colors, eventually moving on to black. Highlights are much simpler. You can just block out a lighter color using a brush, no cross-hatching required. The art style as a whole seems scary to tackle, but you surprisingly have a lot more leeway than the 2D Mario style. So have fun with that. talk about the Alpha Dream art style. I'm talking about the Mario & Luigi RPG series, produced by video game development company Alpha Dream, hence the name. The style I'm breaking down comes from Mario & Luigi Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story specifically, as I believe it's a more refined take on Superstar Saga without the glitz and glamour of Dream Team. The character I'm drawing is a fan favorite Gino from Super Mario RPG, a character who actually cameoed in Mario & Luigi's Superstar Saga. The Alpha Dream art style can be best described as very vibrant and also a very waxy, almost as if it's drawn using colored pencils or pastels. As such, the tools I use will reflect the medium. For the line work, I'll be using the Design Pencil, a type of pencil tool that layers color more heavily than the regular pencil. It's not required, but it'll let me draw the lines faster and at the same time, give me the rough edge I want. Apart from the outline, which is noticeably bolder than the rest, the lines are relatively uniform and feature standard taper on both ends. But you should be aware that there are also instances, such as with Peach's hair, where some of the tapering can even fade out a bit. The shading style of Alpha Dream is a rough, painterly gradient made with tools ranging from brushes to pastels. For me, I just use a colored pencil tool and I set the brush size to be relatively large. When shading specific parts, I personally start out around the middle, slowly building up color as I reach the edge of the line. Using the same tools, I clean it up a bit by erasing what I don't want. As for the highlights, I use the same tools to slightly lighten the corners opposite of the shadows. You don't want to make it too harsh. This style also features reflective light just like 2D Mario, but instead of erasing the shadows, we'll apply color to the edges using the same tools we use for shade. It will vary based on where you're drawing, but the color will always hover around a cool gray. The only exception would be anything white because you're better off just erasing some of the shadow with a brush. Because Gino is a wooden doll, I took the time to find anything wooden in the official art and mimic any texture I find. In my case, I took a lot of inspiration from Toadsworth's cane in this specific piece of art. This tip isn't really necessary, but going the extra mile with small details like these is always worth the effort, in my opinion. And there we have it. Three characters, three art styles. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment letting me know what art styles you want to see next. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until next time, stay creative.